Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel's Legends uh, Sp Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse Miles Morales. Uh, this is the more accurate version of him. Uh, not getting confused with the two-pack with Gwen Stacy, which was also not accurate at all. Um, but yeah, so for the front, you get that Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse logo there. You got Miles Morales. And then you get the Marvel Legends logo on top. Uh, you get the side art of Miles Morales there with the jacket and this spray-painted spider there. And then here's the back with that same picture of Miles. And if you guys want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's all the figures in the wave to make uh, Stilt Man. Uh, so it comes with Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, Peter Parker, Peter B. Parker, Prowler, uh, Foot, uh, Foot Ninja, and then I forgot the frog dude's name. Oh, it's just Frogman, I guess. <laughs> and then you, the other side is the same art. On the top, you get that spray painted spider from Spray Man to the Spider Verse. And then here's the UCPI. Besides that, let's crack them open. So here he is out of packaging here. So yeah, it does have a couple uh, accessories here. So first, he gets the stilt man like shoulder thing that goes over his uh, upper torso area. So yeah. I'll go over that when we build Silt Man. And then you get two web, web hands. Uh, let's see. I like the fact that they actually sculpted the webs in there. And then the red fingers there. So that's really cool. But yeah. The highlight of this figure is like it has the sculpted uh, cobwebbing, which is really cool. And then you get two fisted hands. They're pretty small. So I'd just be careful with these. Uh, you get a little bit of mist paint there, but it's not a big deal. Um, and then you get an extra head here, and this is different. Uh, also, you, you get a little bit of red paint over there, but it's not a big deal. Uh, there is a difference. It has more of that spider Into the Spider-Verse look to the eyes uh, compared to the other one, which I do have the one from the two-pack. I don't have the original Ultimate Spider-Man figure uh, because it costs so much now. But I do have the one that is in the two pack, so we'll do uh, a comparison with that. But I like, I love the uh, sculpted in web co uh, cobwebbing there. I love the eyes for this figure. And what's really weird about this figure, because this is the only thing that I don't really like about it, is the head joint there. <laughs> this is weird. Um, so it's a, a dumbbell joint. And what you would do is basically, I'll, you know what, we'll go over how to do this with the um, Miles Morales head. But yeah, this is really weird. So yeah. Um, but besides that, that's all we got for accessories for him. I wish he came with like wall crawling hands or um, bioelectricity effects. But yeah. And then here's a more accurate head sculpt of Miles Morales' face from Into the Spider-Verse. I love the fact that they used like the comic look to it because they added that little line to his forehead here which gives it that comic look and then you get a little bit of i think that's freckles on him i can't really see that well because of the lights but yeah you can see a little bit there you get that line for the jawline there but yeah they did a really good job i love the head sculpt for this figure uh, and then you get his blue jacket with the red hoodie underneath which they came with like a hoodie that goes up over his head that would be really cool and then uh the sculpted in cobwebbing there would is awesome and you get that spring painted uh spider logo for him there i love that that's really cool and then here's the back for you and if you lift that you don't get the the spider logo there which kind of sucks but i wish they came with that i wish they did like something with the interchangeable stuff like I wish you could switch out legs and then the pant parts and then make it into an actual suit. That would be an awesome idea for Hasbro to do. And you could switch out the arms into like actual Spider-Man arms for him. That would be awesome. So there's an idea for you, Hasbro. Um, but yeah, so these this jacket looks really cool. I like the fact that it comes with, like it looks like it's like blowing all over the place kind of. You get the little zippers there sculpted. So that's a nice little detail. And then you get his pants here or shorts. Um, so you get that little silver buckle there for him. So 
These are the shorts they used in school. You get that little white serial numbers thing there. And then you get his Spider-Man legs here. So you get that cobwebbing there, like the boots, and then very skinny knees. So, and then you get these shoes that are not his uh, retro Jordans. So I wish they did that, but I think they can't do that because of copyright crap probably. But they did a good job with the shoes. So I can't complain about that. The nice red and white shoes. I wish they did the Jordans. That would be a lot cooler, but I'm pretty sure people can uh, customize it and do that. I'm probably going to try doing that myself too. But yeah. Um, there's the shoes for you. You get those treads there. Um, but yeah, let's go over his articulation here. So his head can go down that much. You can go up pretty far with that double ball joint. And then you can look left and right. He does uh, have a whole bunch of head pivoting there. So that's awesome. So yeah. And then his shoulders can move up past that far. He has 360 rotation there. No bicep swivel. But he does have single jointed elbows. Which then swivel to. Like that. And they actually go past 90 degrees. So that's good. Mainly because they're big puffy uh, jacket shoulders. I mean elbows. So yeah. His wrist can hinge down that far, <clears throat> up that far, 360 rotation there. And then I like the fact that they're implementing that Spider-Man, retro Spider-Man feel to it, figures now. So now he has an ab crunch at the top now in instead of a flip-flop. This is flip-flop compared to that now. Um, you can go back just a little bit. The jacket's kind of in the way. And then he has a ball joint at the waist there. So now you can go side to side. And then forward that far with all those going. And then backward that far going. So that's awesome. And then 360 rotation around there, uh, obviously. And then his legs can go out that far. He can go forward that far. He can go backwards, actually a little bit. So that's good. I uh, So what's interesting, it's not the thigh, but there's a swivel right above his knee. So you can kind of rotate it. It's a little stiff for me right now, but yeah, you can rotate that right around his knee. And then he has double jointed knees. They go about that far, so that's good. And then his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And so for the head, to pop it off, oh, see, this is what I'm tied about right here. So yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. And then you, uh, when you pop it off, you got that little hole there where you're supposed to pop it back in. And then here's what he's going to look like with that on. I'm a little scared because then you could just easily break that. But yeah, I love the head sculpt here though. And for comparison, so this one has the like regular eyes from the original Miles Morales figure. Um, whereas this one's like the Spider-Verse version. So I, this is a way accurate head sculpt. I'm, like here's the... Side by side for the face sculpts there. I, love, I prefer the sculpted in cobwebbing. Like you could, in the movie, you could see the cobwebbing still, even though it was a completely black suit. And this one, it just looks like plain. They just half assed this. So this one was kind of like a letdown, but right now it's like worth like almost a hundred bucks for that two pack. So yeah. Um, and then here is a comparison for the heads, which blew my mind on how bad it was. So this was the original one. Oh wait, I think I grabbed the wrong one. I'm not sure. I think this is the Black Panther head sculpt from Civil War. My bad, wrong head sculpt, I'll go grab that. All right, after digging in my little baggie of heads, uh, so here's the right head sculpt here. So yeah, <laughs> there is a major difference with this. I can I couldn't believe that they went with this head sculpt instead of this one for that two pack that was meant to be uh towards the movie but yeah but uh yeah there's a there's the difference for you um uh, but yes obviously I prefer this figure especially with all the articulation in this thing like they even got the waist swivel they got the ab crunch with that too now so I love the fact that they're in uh, putting in the um like the 
uh, articulation technology, whatever you want to call it, from the uh, retro Spider-Man figure into actual figures now, like Spider-Man figures. So yes, I prefer this figure. This is an awesome figure. I love it. I like the look of it. I like the articulation of it. So yeah, um, but besides that, that's all I've got. <laughs>